In this video, we will continue with the basic concepts of functions. You will find this on page 102 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at another example. Find the range of each of these functions. Okay, so basically they give you the domain. Okay, x is bigger than 7. And then I must find the range. So, first draw a sketch of each graph. So basically, um, I'm going to just make a, a rough sketch. So this is going to be a positive. It starts at 7. But if I start at 7, I can also work out the x value. So how can I work out? I just substitute it in that equation. So it's 4. So basically, the sketch the graph, you need two points. Take x is 7 and another point, just to, to sketch it. So basically what I did is I also took 9 and I just saw the graph goes up. Um, it will be, if it was 9, 7, 9, it was 6. Okay, so it's just going up. So the range, the lowest point is 4 and the highest point, and now don't let this confuse you. So I think it would have been better to just say, okay, this is a positive, so I know that it's a straight line, so it will just go up. If it does negative, it will just go down. Because now you think it stops there. You just took, you could have taken a point uh, 12, 13, doesn't matter. So basically, I just need a sketch like this. And now I must focus on the value of y. But it's, it's from there, from there. And then it's, it's going up. Okay, so that's why the range y is bigger than 4 and y is the element of real numbers. Okay, the next one. Uh, fx plus 2x, and now, now, this is a better one. Because they tell you, it's, they give you this, don't forget what I said, this is the domain that they give you. So it's from negative 2 to 3. So basically, I'm just going to substitute negative 2, I substitute 3, and now it's very easy to make a sketch. So from that, two points. And remember, if it's range, I'm focusing on the y value. So the lowest point is 3, and the highest point is 13. Now, due to the fact that the negative 2 was, was in, uh, let's just see, uh, it was actually the 3. I want to make it a bit bigger. That you see better. Okay. So basically, if I'm going, I just want to see this question again. So this was negative 2. This one was not included in that. So I think on my sketch, I'm, I'm correct here, but I think on my sketch, I could have, oh, it seems to me it's like that. Just look very, very, very. Oh, it's open. Do you see it's open? But it's very small, so I don't see it. But I think in the textbook you will see it better. Okay, so it's open, so it's not included. But, and then the 13 will be included. And now express the function uh, in the form. Can you remember chapter 1? Where A, B, and C are constant and Einstein the range of the function. Okay, why is that? Because if it's in that form, you can get the turning point. It's a parable. So go back to page 21. If you struggle, we explained how to express it in this form. So basically, I just took three out, okay? And then I just go into, I just move that one, and I take the middle, and I just divide it by two, so it's like multiplying half. And don't forget, whatever you add, you must also subtract. And then it was that x, and then it was um, this, this square, I just simplify 5 over 3, and then this 2, this 2. Press it on your calculator. Press on your calculator um, 10 or 5, abc3 squared plus 2 over 3, and I got this. And then don't forget to multiply and to multiply, and I got this. And I was looking for this. Why? Because I can get the turning point from there. So I change the sign, so it's 5 over 3, and I take this one, negative 6 and a third. Okay, and then uh, the minimum value is negative 6 and a third. And now, don't forget, if you want to find the range, it's from here up, up. And th that, that arrow means it's just going to infinity. So 
the value of the range for y is bigger than or equal to negative and 6 and a third. So I'm actually just looking for this y value. And y is the element of y. It's a bit challenging. It's also the way they can ask it in the examination. So take your time. Go through the examples again. And then, then you can stop the video. You can do number A as well as number 3. And again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Number one. Find the range of each of these functions. Okay, this is, remember what I said? This, they gave you the domain. Now, if I was make a sketch, though this is positive, and I'm just going to make a rough sketch. This, what, this one is, is better if they gave you both, but I didn't give you that one. I just wanted you to do this one. You can try it. You must actually do the whole exercise to become really good. Okay. Now, now don't forget, if I'm substituting... And this is what I'm going to do first. I substitute two. Oh. Okay. So that point, that point is going to be two, say two, and it's going to be five. So say it's there. Uh, it's not included. So that means it's open. Now, because it's positive, it means the graphs go up. You see, I, I'm not interested in the rest. I'm actually just interested to know it's going up. Okay. Okay. And, I, and I'm also interested to know that this, this, if this is 2, I want to get my pen correct. If this is 2, then I know now that this is 5. And then it's going up. So, if I must go and I must write the range. Then it is going to be Y and it's an element of R. And then Y, it's going up. It's bigger than Y. Not equal because there was not an equal. If there was an equal, then this will also have an equal. And if, if that gradient was negative, it would have gone down, and then it would have been smaller. Okay, but it's not. Let's do number three. Let's just make space. Number three. Express the function in the forms. They actually help you. It's very nice. So it's going to be, um, what is the function? Let's just write it down. It's going to be 2x squared minus 8x plus 5. Okay. So express it in this form, and then you can tell the range. It's a parabola. Okay, if you're going to draw a graph. So if I express it in that, first, this must be 1x squared. So first take out the 2. Into. Okay. Now, don't forget how it works. I'm going to take the middle term and I divide it by 2. So it's going to be 2. And whatever you add, you must also, because it's an expression, you must also subtract. Okay, now, now, I'm just going to, I'm just going to do this, I'm just going to write that 2, and I factorize, and it's going to be x, and I take that term, and I take that inside, it's squared, and now I'm taking my calculator, it's looking, press it, it's actually easy, it's 2.5 minus 4. So it's going to be easy, so it's 2.5 minus that 4, so it's negative 1.5.
to simplify that. But then don't forget to multiply and to multiply. So you have 2. And then if you multiply that one with 2, you get negative 3. So it, don't multiply it in, just with the one in front and with that one. And now you can say the turning point. And it, remember, it's always this sign that changed, so it's 2, and this sign that you keep as it is. Okay. Now, because it's positive, if an, especially in this level, if I can, I always want to draw a small graph for you. Because I think you, you just understand it better. Okay, so let's just go into, to make that point. So say it's 2 and negative 3. Say that point is there. And then basically what's happening is that that goes up. It's a parabola. And it's maybe not good. Um, I, um, and I think it's going to cut there at 5. So it's really not good, so good. Um, so just going to be a bit smaller. I want to redo that one also. So, okay, it doesn't matter. Okay. But, but this one is important. This is 2 and negative 3. Actually, the one that I'm looking for is that one. I want to see that negative 3. Okay, and, and because it's a turning point, it will always be included. It's part of the graph, so it's included. So, therefore, what will be the range? It will be from there and it will be up to infinity. Why to infinity? Because of that arrows there that's also going to, to infinity. So therefore, I can say the range is equal to y, and it's an element of real numbers, r, and then I say y is bigger because it's up, and equal to negative three. And that will be my range. That's how you do it.